When Dane Jackson went down with an injury a few drives into the game, first round pick Kair Elam was thrust into the lineup, and in my opinion, he was the MVP for the Bills in this game. On 34 coverage snaps, he was targeted four times and he allowed one reception for two yards and had a PFF grade of 88.0. And for someone like Kyer Elam, who's had an up and down rookie season, a performance like this in the playoffs can be a huge confidence booster. And that's really important for a cornerback where half the battle's mental. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe. Also check us out on all our social medias. You can find the links for those in the description below. So Elam was playing almost exclusively press coverage, which is right in line with his strengths. He's so physical at the line of scrimmage. And with an offense like Miami that relies on speed on the outside, being able to jam at the line of scrimmage and disrupt the timing of their releases is critical. But then Elam also showed great hip fluidity in his transition out of press. You can see on this play, he lands a two-hand punch, stays in phase throughout the route stem, and then glues himself to the receiver's hip. So a few plays after Elam comes into the game, it's third and 19, and the Bills are playing cover two, so technically Kyer Elam's the flat defender, but the Dolphins have two receivers on this side released vertically, so instead of just staying underneath and covering grass, Elam carries this outside vertical route and then makes a nice adjustment for his second career interception. Run defense has been a consistent weakness on Kyer Elam's tape, but this is a really nice shoestring tackle. I still think for someone with his size and length and the ability that he's shown in press coverage, I'd like to see him be a lot more physical and proactive engaging with blocks. And Elam had some of the best press man reps that you'll find against Tyree Kill or Jalen Waddle from this season. I watched every single one of Kyer Elam's snaps, and there was one play where Tyree Kill got a step on him, but Skylar Thompson wasn't looking in his direction. Outside of that, Elam was playing aggressive press coverage and allowing very little separation. And I'm not just talking about at the line of scrimmage. Jalen Waddle could not shake him on any of his route breaks. He did a great job getting his hips turned at the right time so he could match Tyreek's speed deep. This is a really nice rep against Tyreek. He goes in for the two-hand punch, but Tyreek Hill is able to swat down this outside arm, so he only has contact established with the inside hand. But even when he isn't able to land a perfectly clean punch, one hand is enough to prevent Tyreek Hill from getting a clean release off the line of scrimmage. And then he holds that contact with the inside hand for as long as possible, and he knows that the second he releases contact, Tyreek Hill is gonna fully accelerate. So right when he drops the hand, it's a speed race, and he's able to accelerate and not get stacked. Press coverage isn't only about disrupting the receiver's release, it's also a great way of establishing contact and getting in phase so that you aren't having to mirror these fast receivers 10 yards down the field while you're backpedaling. So right here he's matched up with Jalen Waddle. he gets two hands on the outside shoulder, and then it's not about holding, it's about feeling the route develop so that you don't have to rely on your eyes to tell you where the receiver's going. This is another great rep against Tyreek Hill. One of the things that's made him such a consistently productive deep threat in the NFL is how quick he is at the line of scrimmage. So Tyreek's able to make Elam miss with his hands and get an outside release. Usually when this happens, Tyreek leaves the cornerback in the dust, but Elam's in a great position with his footwork. He's shaded at a 45 degree angle to the sideline. So once he misses with his punch, he doesn't have to do a full hip rotation to accelerate down the field. And again, he's able to keep up with Tyreek Hill step for step. Tyreek kind of pushes off for the comeback and then Skylar Thompson overthrows him by a couple yards. And Elam wasn't really expecting the football, but he could have had a second interception. Either way, a huge pass breakup on the final drive of the game. So winning by three in the wildcard round as 14 point home favorites, that's not exactly the dominant performance that you were looking for if you're a Bills fan, but I think Kyer Elam's performance is absolutely a reason for optimism. Watching some of the press man reps from this game with Elam on one side and White on the other, I saw flashes of the dominant Bills secondary that I was expecting in the preseason. So this could just be a flash in the pan, but if Kyer Elam's actually starting to put it together, the Bills secondary is gonna be returning to full strength at the perfect time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any players or teams that you'd like me to cover.